If ChatGPT feels more like a clueless intern than a right-hand assistant, it's not because AI doesn't work for people like us. It's because no one taught you how to train it to work for you. I learned this the hard way, and I don't want you to waste the same time that I did. So let me show you how I turned ChatGPT from a frustrating tool into my favorite assistant. One that helps me write faster, stay consistent, and even sell my products in my sleep. But first, let me take you back to the moment I almost gave up on it. If you're building a business on the side like I am, and you want honest step-by-step -step strategies for using tools like ChatGPT to actually save you time, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps other people find this kind of practical content. Okay, so a while back, I saw this prompt making the rounds on Instagram, and it said, ask ChatGPT to act as your social media strategist and give you 24 Instagram reel hooks that would appeal to your target audience using this formula. I copied the whole thing, I filled in my audience, I hit enter, and the ideas it gave me were so generic, the kind of stuff that technically checks the box, but sounds like it was scraped from a blog written in about 2012. It didn't sound like me at all, it didn't connect with my audience, and it certainly didn't help me get out of 200 view jail. And I thought, well, maybe ChatGPT is just overhyped. But a few months later, I gave that same exact prompt another shot. Only this time, I did something completely different before I asked it for anything. I had trained ChatGPT on my business over time. I gave it real context, who I am, who I serve, what I believe in, and the four content pillars that I build everything around. So along with a clear explanation of my target audience, I shared my content pillars to give constraints to work within. My pillars are start scrappy. You don't need fancy tech or huge audience to get started. Um, pillar two is email is first because it's the only channel that sells while you sleep and you own it. Pillar three, build slow while you're still working. You don't need to burn out or go all in right away. Side hustle pace is still progress. And pillar four, ChatGPT is your assistant, not a replacement for your brain. It's here to help you go faster and think more clearly. So once I shared those content pillars with ChatGPT, the suggestions it gave me actually sounded like me and aligned with what I wanted to be known for. Same prompt, very different result. Because here's the truth about AI and really about content creation in general. Garbage in, garbage out. The more clarity you give it up front, the more helpful and aligned it becomes. So let's talk about how to actually train ChatGPT to work for you. I treat it like a real assistant. And if you've ever had to hire somebody or onboard someone or you've been onboarded yourself, you already know. If you don't give them what they need, they can't give you what you need. So here's what I suggest you feed ChatGPT before asking for anything else. One, your business and goals. What you do, who you help, and what you're working toward. Two, your target audience. What they're struggling with, what they want, how they talk, uh, your content pillars, so that every piece of content supports the message you want to be known for. And four, your tone of voice, how you speak, words you love or avoid, phrases you say often, um, and I go more in depth on this in particular in this video right here if you want to check it out. Number five, your values and approach. You should even tell ChatGPT the kind of advice you don't believe in, like hustle culture or anything that sounds like just manifest it. And when you give it that, ChatGPT becomes your genuinely helpful partner. So. Let me give you a quick before and after example, okay? Before training my ChatGPT, I got an answer like this. Here are real hook ideas for entrepreneurs. Are you ready to level up? This one thing changed my business. So generic. But after training, here's what I got for hook ideas tailored to women 40 and up, starting a side hustle, heavily reliant on email marketing and starting scrappy. Still think you need an audience to start selling? Let me show you a smarter way. And this is for the woman Googling how to build a business while stirring spaghetti sauce. Do you see the difference? That second one just hits harder because it was built specifically for my target audience. And once I started doing this, content creation got way easier. 
I use ChatGPT to help me outline videos, uh, brainstorm weekly emails, repurpose my YouTube scripts into Instagram reels, and the best part, the content still sounds like me. I'm not fighting the tool anymore. Now it works for me and it can work for you too. I know this might sound like a lot to pull together and I added this stuff into my ChatGPT over time. So what I did was I created something for you to make it easier. It's called the ChatGPT onboarding questionnaire and it walks you through exactly what to tell ChatGPT about your business, your audience, and your brand before you start asking it to write content. You can grab that for free in the link in the description below the video. And if you want to see what I do after ChatGPT helps me create the content, how I take one idea and repurpose it into an entire week's worth of content across Instagram, email, and YouTube, go watch my video on the read next rule. I'll link it here and below. It's one of my most popular videos for a reason.